So good morning you guys. I got my hamster on Wednesday so I've had her for a few days now and she's just been settling into the cage. Um, so I'm just doing a little morning spot clean. Um, I've also just went ahead and watered um, the spider plant. So this is actually a real plant that's in her cage. Um, this is a hamster safe plant. Um, if they eat it, it's got no nutritional benefits and the only dangerous thing about this plant is it will eventually sprout flowers so you just need to make sure you snip them off because they're toxic. Um, this plant isn't looking too healthy at the moment um, but it is looking a bit better than it was a couple of days ago. My hamster does like to have a bit of a nibble on the leaves so as you can see these ones are a bit um, nibbled up. Um, sometimes she's fine with me but she's really good with the plant she's not like too crazy with it. I need to sort out her sand dish I'm going to need to sieve that because there's bits of seeds and stuff in there. Um, I've literally just filled up her water bottle. I popped that back in and she decided to make an appearance. Um, her will, I was literally just about to clean that. So here's her will, she's started peeing on it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that with a pet safe antibacterial wipe. Um, she's been using her will for the past two nights. The first night um, she didn't use it. Uh, she doesn't use it a lot, um, which is good because it's a bit squeaky. Um, but yeah, she does use the wheel occasionally at night. Um, her food, she's quite a fussy eater, so she's quite picky with what she eats. I've ordered her some science selective pellets to mix in because I usually like to mix them in with whatever main food I'm feeding. Um, and then we got this little dish here which I gave her um, a little slice of carrot in. This is actually pumpkin. I gave her a little slice of carrot because she's really fussy so it's quite hard to find something she will eat. Um, and her previous owner said that she really liked carrot and um, cucumber. So, so my sister actually brought some over yesterday. Um, she hasn't even really nibbled the whimsy chew she nibbled it a little bit like the first day that i got her but other than that she hasn't nibbled it since she's currently sleeping in this well she's not sleeping um but she's currently in this wooden hide which is where she sleeps so she does tend to spend a lot more time in this section of the cage um rather than this section over here i don't really see her much over here anymore um but she does love that little hideaway and i'll often find her sitting in there so it's actually been a couple of hours since um i last picked up my camera i just got distracted i'm just going to continue with what i was doing um earlier this morning i'm just going to have a little chit chat with you guys while i spot clean um her cage a little bit it's just this section because she doesn't really go in the other section and i already sorted it out um a little bit earlier on but i've finally given my hamster a name um so yesterday i announced on instagram um that i've decided to name her bluebell um i just think that's a really sweet name i was gonna go for a food name but um i was just really liking the idea of um giving her a nice floral name. Just thought of the name Bluebell. Um, it just came to mind the night before and I was thinking about it like all day yesterday. Um, and it just kind of fits her to be honest. She looks like a Bluebell. Um, and yeah, so that is her name. It usually takes me a couple of days or so to actually pick a name for my um, hamsters. Um, I don't know. I just like to sort of get to know their personality um, a little bit and just find something that really uh, suits them well. sounds looking a little bit better than it was before and um, let me take this I don't think there's anything else I need to do right now
just received this parcel full of pet products uh, for Bluebell and I've also received this humongous bag of substrate hasn't gone back to bed she's awake um so the substrate that i have in the cage at the moment um i used two big bags of it over on this side i have the chipsy care fresh natural and then over this side i have um some hemp substrate and i used two big bags um and i thought it was just gonna like come up so much higher um and she really 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 likes digging um she hasn't done much recently but on the first day i got her she was digging a lot that's why i decided to go ahead and buy some more substrate and this bag is huge it's a pretty big bag i can't actually remember the name of this website i've ordered from them before and i think i ordered these stuff yesterday um but i can't actually remember the name of the site so i'll have it linked down below in the description and i didn't say where the bedding was from i got that from uh, zoo plus so i ordered the rosewood naturals her plus i've actually had this i've actually ordered this before um and i really like to um sprinkle this around the cage i also went ahead and ordered some science selective pellets um because i always like to mix this in with whatever uh main hamster food i'm using i also ordered the rosewood board and break up woody's caterpillar um these are really cute i've had many of these over the years i got these apple nibblet i thought these would be really nice for um taming because they're quite nice and small next i got oh i've got another caterpillar and then i got the rosewood naturals um apple and strawberry bunny and then the last treat i got were these hanging ones but you just tie them on the cage i think that looks great in a natural theme um, so these are the Rosewood Naturals Dandelion Stick. Um, so yeah, that's the last treat. And then I grabbed a bag of, um, two bags of the Carefra. So here's an overview of everything that I just got. So I've just given Bluebell a piece of this freeze-dried chicken so this is available um, on my website if you want to go ahead and check it out really good for hamsters because it contains a lot of protein um, it's really good especially for young hamsters um, for elderly hamsters they still need protein but not as much um, but yeah it's quite important for uh, young hamsters she's always so curious now she is a bit nippy um at the moment so i haven't really been able to handle her and stuff because she's quite nippy um but she will take food from your hand and stuff like that she really 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 loves the freeze-dried chicken um i usually give her a piece every other day um i normally pop it in her food dish and yeah she really really likes that um i still haven't tested her out on some of the new treats like the rosewood apple and strawberry bunnies and um these pets at home sticks and uh, like all of the new bits that i got i haven't tried her out on any of those yet i think i'm gonna try her on some of this soon when i do like her halloween cage maybe next week because i really love the um colors in there like the greens yellows orange reds um it just seems very fitting for like a nice autumnal cage so it's Monday now and I thought I would just um, give you guys a little update on what I've been up to and also a little haul of some stuff that I've got for Bluebell. Um, hopefully I'm not missing anything. I've been really busy over the past two weeks. I actually started this video about two weeks ago now. I've been working on my shop. Um, as you can see, I've got some Halloween themed stuff in front of me. So I'm going to quickly go through uh, one of these boxes they are all sold out um unfortunately um i'm only doing a few of these halloween hamster boxes i'm doing them last minute um but i do have some other halloween bits on my website if you want to go ahead and check that out have a look in the description um i've also got a little haul to show you guys as well of some stuff that i got for bluebell um yeah as i said i hope i'm not missing anything because i got these stuff like last week um and yeah <laughs> so here we have um the small halloween hamster boxes um so you'll see a few different color variations with like this chew you'll either get the green one or the black one 
so I'm actually waiting for some more orange tissue paper to arrive and um, yeah so there will be tissue paper inside and a little black sticker to sort of match with the Halloween theme so we've got one of these handmade chew toys you can find these on my website um, there's also just a really cute black spoon you can use to measure out your hamster's food we've got some dried pumpkin which you can purchase on my website as well as these handmade pumpkin nibbles which I make every year got some whimsy shoes which I also have on my website and then lastly of course I've got a pack of furniture stickers and these are just um, one of their mini sets the balloons which are super cute here we've got these bigger boxes so I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that you would get in this box so let's take off these so here we've got a pack of pumpkin seeds and then we've also got some more of the dried pumpkin we've got this rosewood uh board and breaker crinkle activity tunnel i love that it's purple um then we've got this uh handmade hanging chew which is really cute and, and then this is what the black chew looks like this is probably my favorite one and then we've also got a spoon here we've got some more of the pumpkin nibbles uh but we also get a pack of the pumpkin popcorn cookies which are also limited edition so underneath there's a few different variations of oops of these products um so this is the furnishables spooky paws so you'll either get the spooky paws or you'll get this other one which i'll show you in a minute and you also get a pack of gel clings and there's four different designs that you will get so this is one of them i'll try and find one with a different design this, this one is probably my favorite it's really pretty um and then this is the pack of furnishable stickers the trick or treat set which is probably one of my favorite furnishable sets um but yeah so it's just going to be a little bit random as to what one you get um here i've got a couple of um orders in here because these are people that have ordered a box as well as other items so that's what these are um i've got a bunch of orders in my hallway which i need to send off as well i've got a bag full i've got a whole bag full of them um and then also down here these are some stuff for my friend in Denmark this is what I picked up um the other day when I went to Ikea um and stuff with my boyfriend if you haven't seen that vlog I'll have it linked down below in the description um I went and got some last minute pet bits for Bluebell the day before I got her she wanted a pack of these uh Christmas coconut popping cookies these will be out in a couple of weeks I do these every single year They're limited edition for Christmas so definitely stay tuned for these um and I also made her a yellow chew and a extra black chew so she wanted one of these marble food dishes but the main thing she wanted was to see if they had any of these um tea light holders from the pound shop which you can use as hideaways for dwarfs so we've got this uh pumpkin one here we've got this cat one and it's got the entrance at the back and then um, we also have this ghost one which just looks like this i didn't get any of um these ones this year because i didn't really like them um but i have had some from uh, previous years so if you're looking for some nice um halloween bits um like ceramic items definitely um check out poundland or a pound each and they also do some great christmas ones as well now i'm going to quickly go ahead and show you these uh bits that i got for bluebell my hamster so i'm actually thinking of um spelling her name with an extra e at the end which is kind of annoying because i've just went and got these um <laughs> name stickers from furnishables um and yeah i've asked if i can have an extra e um if it doesn't look right i'll just order them again it's fine um so these are six pounds each so i ordered this font and the font here that's uh on her cage it's really really pretty i love this it's gorgeous but i'm going to be removing this soon and replacing it with this black one because i'm going to be doing a halloween theme hopefully next uh hopefully next week i'm going to be doing that um and she very kindly sent me this extra one which i did not ask for um but that was really sweet of her so then i ordered this uh snuggle pouch from um smudge and mr moo so this is their name you can 
find them on Facebook and Instagram. She makes uh, like these snuggle pouches and hammocks and stuff for small animals and she does them in different sizes. So I chose this fabric and the, um, well I chose this colour combination, so the fabric and the fleece. Um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be but I'm really happy with that because it means like the hamster can be like extra snuggly so I hope to maybe be able to use this one day with Bluebell um, and my niece would absolutely love this because she's got one for her hamster Coco but this one is a lot bigger and my niece has a Syrian and um, Coco absolutely loves this pouch and my niece likes to carry her around in it and she loves it um, so I think I might actually get one for my niece uh, for her hamster and then here this is something I did not um, actually ask for but she sent it as a little surprise I was so excited when I saw this and I can't wait to use it in her Halloween cage so this is a um, hammock and it's so 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 well made um, I love it it's gorgeous this is probably going to be like my favorite item in her Halloween themed cage I can't wait to put this up um, and this is absolutely gorgeous so this is the same size I think it's about the same size as the ones I have um, hanging up in her cage already so this one is a double hammock and this one is a single hammock um, so yeah this is going to look great I'm probably going to put it right here or somewhere along here um, so yeah I'm very 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 excited and looking forward to doing her Halloween themed cage so this is future me just just coming in really quickly to um, show you guys a couple of things so I literally just received a parcel um, and I'm restocking these bunny spoons I haven't had these since uh, back in Easter I think um, so I thought I would go ahead and restock them because they were super popular they're adorable so these are available on my website these are some more marble dishes and some oopsie daisy and some cute heart shaped dishes um, you would have seen one of these in Bluebell's cake. Really, really really excited about this. This is for Bluebell and it is a pumpkin dish and I cannot wait to use this in her Halloween themed cage. This is adorable. I love it so much. Um, I'm probably just going to use this to put food in because um, she does have a sand dish um, so I don't think I would use this as a sand dish. It's quite small as well so I'll probably just pop her food in it and she's going to look so cute sitting in there. Um, I already have enough ceramic dishes. I think when I counted it all out I had like 60 different food dishes which is insane um, but I'm really excited for this and I can't wait to do her Halloween cage. Probably going to be uh, collaborating with Smudge and Mr Moo uh, for my Christmas uh, for my Christmas hamster boxes I've already started planning those out I've got things for that arriving um, over the next couple of weeks and I will be putting them on my website in November and hopefully getting them out in November yeah so that was just a little Halloween update for you guys um, a quick update on oh I forgot to tell you I changed the um the lids uh, not the lids I changed the handles I don't think I mentioned that that was another thing I needed to mention yep they're now um crystals they're really pretty um they were just like little wooden knobs before but now they are crystals and they're gorgeous and I love them so much and I absolutely love these handles not because they're super cute but because they're the same ones I have on my bedside table so here's my bedside table and this is the handle that I have on it so it was originally just like a what is that on my drawer so it was originally just a plain uh, metal one um but then i thought crystal one would look nicer so when i redecorated my room back in 2017 it was a while ago now um i switched out the handle I realized that my bed it actually is like the exact same um crystals but just a miniature version to the ones um that i got for my uh, bedside table so yeah it all kind of matches and i like that that makes me feel really happy i post a and I'm crossing Island Tour a couple of weeks ago, or the other week. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check out that video. It doesn't have that many views. It's got like less than a thousand. Um, but um, yeah, that was just my Island Tour back in July. Um, the comments are very positive and a lot of people ask to see a updated one. So I hope to do one very soon because I've been decorating my Island for autumn. And it's looking amazing, especially with all the new pumpkins. Oh my god, I'm loving the new update it's great i never thought i would i didn't think i would be as excited about it as i am but i'm so 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 happy but it's literally been the best update so far in my opinion i've been playing since june um and yep yeah, i 
I really want to show you guys my island um, in the current state where it is because I'm quite happy with it. Now for a super quick update on Bluebell, um, excuse the fact that her cage is a bit messy, I haven't done um, her morning spot clean just yet, but um, how cute is this little um, cat food dish, it's great, um, I'm going to have these on my website soon because I love them a lot, oh sorry, hi, you're awake? She is so cute. <laughs> she looks adorable, but she's very like nippy and she's like showing signs of aggressiveness. She jumps and she tries to attack your hand. Um, the only time she'll let you stroke her is if she's eating food. So we're gonna try and do some taming sessions. I do um, hand feed her every day. I give her a piece of something, maybe like a pumpkin seed or a bit of fruit or veg or just a little treat, something healthy. Um, and she'll usually take that from my hand, um, but we need to do some proper taming sessions. I'm thinking of taking her out of the cage. I haven't done that since I've had her because I've just been leaving her to settle in, but she has actually settled in now. Um, you can see she's crawling on her stomach, so she's a little bit nervous, um, but she has sort of settled into her cage. Um, and she has a little routine and she actually wakes up during the day now which is something she wasn't really doing for the first couple of days i didn't see her at all during the day but now i see her sometimes she makes a little appearance for a minute or two um so yeah i'm going so i'm thinking of popping her in a empty bathtub to do some taming sessions i've done that with cupcake and cashmere and it worked and it worked really well um for cashmere um so yeah i'm going to be doing that very soon I think she's going to come out the other end <laughs> um so I'm going to be doing that very soon with um Bluebell and see if she uh, she likes human attention again because she did at first with um her last owner she was walking on her hand and stuff but I think because she didn't really have that same interaction for a few days um she just kind of forgot what that was and just went a bit wild um but other than that she is super cute and i usually just watch her uh running around the cage making a mess so i'm gonna need to so i'm gonna need to tidy this up she's obliterated the, the flax seeds several chewed up and stuff i do have flax seeds on my website if you want to go ahead and check that out um she really likes them um but she has them in moderation she doesn't just demolish them all in one go which is good but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and um end this vlog here because i am just rambling now and i'm not sure what my next video will be or when my next video will be up because i've just been really busy um but subscribe if you haven't already um and i will be sharing lots more videos of bluebell and my plant is looking so much more dead than it was when i first started filming the other week um yeah it needs a lot of tlc and that is kind of not my fault bluebell climbs in it and she nibbles it and it's just looking really bad right now um but um yes let's just have hope for the plant but i'm gonna go now um don't forget to check out my socials follow me on instagram i have two accounts my personal which is my name and my hamster account which is tiny hamster paws both are linked to down below in the description so definitely check that out and yeah bye for now guys and i will see you in my next video